This is a Game of Thrones. This is the challenges. We're looking at House Tyrell growing strong. This is Legendary Tactics. So by far one of the hardest challenges is this growing strong by House Tyrell. We are going to work at it today and show you one way that you can complete the victory. So in the planning phase, we are going to, the uh, the opening move for this is generally, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna march and you're going to want to uh, march the two centers on land out. You're going to, uh, the, the boat at this point really is inconsequential. There's, there's nothing around it. Uh, there's nothing really you can do much to, uh, to help it or for it to help you. But uh, what I am going to try is something a little different. Normally I have been marching, but I'm going to actually take a crown and uh, gain, gain a crown. Uh, having, having your crown revenue is really, really critical in this. And uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have um, crowns so that you can control the, uh, the bidding board when it comes up in the game. So uh, down south there, they're starting to spread out uh, Lannister and Greyjoy. Uh, that's a very common opening. They're going to be attacking each other. And uh, they will be... Uh, there's uh, Lannister shifting a little south towards me. Don't like that. So I am going to uh, go down and take Old Town. Uh, that'll give me another build if I want. And go into... And take the other castle there at the Reach. So your card play is really important. I'm going to just take the two swords, the two banger, and it's enough to kill him off. Uh, with the two swords too, even if he has one defense, it's uh, not enough. He actually will die. Uh, and that will be my turn. I'll get the extra crown. Um, I am going to move my ship into port. Uh, and that will allow me to uh, actually gain some crowns from that ship as well then down the road, so. So a supply does nothing. We're going to uh, restock. So uh, we're fighting the wildlings here. I'm going to go major three. Oh, that'll be excellent. I get the win. And the highest bid reward. So I'm excluded from the next attack, which is kind of nice. Uh, they have to fight it off but no effect. Okay, so in our second playing phase, I'll take another crown there for the ship. Now I can use the ship for crown, so that actually is an important play you're going to want to consider, is landing that ship to port. Uh, at the reach, uh, I am deciding... Yeah, I've got that Lannister. Now he's gonna, he will generally move south, that Lannister there, so I don't have to worry about him. So I'm going to make a movement, and I will, with this fella, decide to get another crown. There's no one around, so he's a safe, it's a safe, a safe crown there. There's going to be no raids on him. I'm looking at the board there. Okay. So, what we're going to want to do now is we will be marching with our two troops. We really need to get a, a muster going if possible. That'll really help. I uh, also need to be concerned with... Uh, see, there he went south, as, as I predicted. So that will leave that, uh, that northerly space open for me if I want to take it. Um, and it's worth two, uh, two supply barrels, so it's not a bad play to, to take control of that. And there's nothing around the reach that can... Uh, and I do want to keep control of that reach in case a muster comes up. So it is worth spending the crown. Uh, and with my footman down by Old Town, uh, I can move back up. I've got Lannister's kind of threatening a, an attack there, so I just want to make sure I have a, a troop there at least to ward him off a little bit. And I do want to keep control of Old Town as well, so that will cost another... Another crown. But I will gain some crowns from... Uh, from the two that gained it there. So we get another supply. We're going to get the Clash of Kings. We're going to be bidding now, and I have six to bid with, so it's kind of nice. Now the others have six, six of... Okay, and I gained 
control of the Iron Throne, which is awesome. Tiebreakers go to me. Uh, I'm going to spend one there and... Oh, just go to the second place there. That's fine. That gives Baratheon a plus one, which is not great, but... And for the Raven, I'll bid another one. I'll come in third. So I'm not doing so great yet on the uh, on the track, but uh, the first place at least will give me now. Okay, so we can't consolidate anymore for the crown. Okay, so now we've got... Uh, we still only have the, uh, the, the couple guys to move there. So what I want to do is uh, you can kind of see I've started to push a little bit north, a little bit uh, the south. The, the fell in the south there is starting to push up on me, though, so I have to be mindful of him. So I'm just going to most likely go with a... I'm going to go with an attack. I'm going to push I'm push into him. And with a ship, I can take... Uh, I can't use Consolidate, so I'll just do a support in case uh, anyone tries to attack me. Okay, so he's doing a crown, too. Sorry, a, a, a march. Uh, we're going to take a look here now at the action phase. And uh, so that's a raid. I can I can burn his raid off there. And there's a few more raids out there to be, uh, to be handled. He's gathering quite a little army there in the south, which I have to be concerned with. Now, this is an interesting decision here. I'm going to actually go in and attack. I've got a plus one. Plus, I have um, uh, a, f a f number of great cards still, so uh, House Martell is in trouble now. If I use this three, it'll give me a second attack if I win, and I did. So, I can actually do a second march now uh, with that card ability. So, Tyrell's cards actually are really kind of neat. Uh, I love that. Uh, I love that three banner card. It's a really great a card to uh, to spring on your opponent when you're wanting to uh, be able to do a second march. And I could actually march straight down to Starfall, perhaps there, if, uh, if I'm so inclined. It might not be the worst play. It would be a bit of a, a bit of a kind of a, a power play because uh, we haven't seen a muster yet. Oh, and now he's trying to attack. Yeah. Okay. High garden there, so we're gonna hopefully be able to. Uh, oh, we've got a fair bit of defense going on, so I don't think I need to use my four just yet. I'll just use the two. Oh, and Cersei. So we did lose. Uh, Lannister lost one there. So now, yeah, Martell's starting to push in there some troops. I do have that extra movement though, and Starfall is looking pretty wide open, so. Wouldn't be the worst. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll probably uh, want to keep control of that. Uh, it may fall, but at least it's in my power right now. And uh, if a muster does happen to pop up uh, on this uh, card flop, then uh, we'll be getting a lot of troops. Okay, so uh, oh, we have a flip, and it uh, we have dark wings, dark words. And put to the sword. Okay, so with the planning phase here, uh, unfortunately I've got a lot of guys that I have to, uh, or not a lot of guys, and we did not get a muster, so that's, um, we'll, uh, we'll consolidate there. Um, you know what, he can probably raid it from me. It's a little risky, but uh, we'll see. Maybe he doesn't want to raid, maybe he, he mute, I have a feeling he may want to march, so if we can uh, maybe sneak a consolidate, or a... Uh, a uh, muster on that uh, that boat there. We'll see. So now remember the objective for this is that you want to get um, 15 land armies. Okay, so the uh, the sea is not as critical. Okay, so he did a, a, just a support there. It's not bad. Okay, so my consolidate uh, will, will play. Yeah, you want to get 15 land armies. So uh, remember, you don't need to be building... Um, a lot of boats in this level. You want to be focusing on on uh, troops and on uh, if you need to do a horse. Um, that's going to be your best uh, way of uh, obviously getting the level. So currently, I'm only at three out of fifteen. Not great. We're halfway through the game, so we're going to have to really um, pick up the ante here a little bit. But uh, that's okay. We've uh, still got a few rounds left in us here. So, gained a whole bunch of Consolidate Crowns, that's good. And uh, here we go. 
So we're going to, uh, we gotta start seeing some musters, though, is what we gotta see, so we... Okay, so the Westeros phase. We've got nothing happening. We've got more more consolidate crowns coming, so that gives us a nice little bump there. That's good. So, looking at our, we'll start with the ship there. That's a good. Uh, actually, we'll start up at High Garden there. We're gonna use. Um, let's go with the crown, the consolidate crown there, with which would, could give us a potential muster. Um, one beside it there. Let's do a raid. In the south there, we'll uh, we'll do support uh, defensive, and we'll do another consolidate with our ship. So we really want to see a muster. Hopefully in the next phase, we'll be able to uh, draw a muster out if we can get one. In the next card flop. Okay, so here we are in the action phase now. We're on the raid section here. And our raid is up first. So we've got our Blade and Blackwater, or our Raid and Blackwater. Oh, and we should have taken out that Lannister raid. Oh, that was a misstep. Uh, that's okay, yeah, we're going to lose our Consolidate Muster. Okay, no problem. We can uh, we can bounce back there. At least there, there's no uh, there's no marching moving in there, at least for us for now. So we uh, we dodged a bit of a bullet on our, uh, our castles. But we'll see if... Uh, Okay, and uh, yeah, it looks in the surrounding area like everyone. Oh, there is going to be that one, uh, one troops marching there, and I don't know if they're if they're gonna decide to march on to uh, uh, to the reach. Nope, nope, nope. They're going into okay to reclaim some land there. Okay, the interior. Ah, oh, and we get a mustering. Okay, we certainly needed that mustering, uh, but I also just noted, noticed that the wildlings are at 12 of 12, so there is going to be a wildling attack. There it is, and they are coming with 12 force, so let's uh, let's add a little bit. We have enough in general. Is it enough? We were defeated. Okay, so we are going to discard the lowest bidder, and I will get to choose who to, and we will take the Lannisters. Well, they're closest to us. Let's get them take a hit. And now we can muster. So now we are going to bring in a lot of troops here. Uh, we're going to bring as many footmen as we can because uh, the footmen take a little less. And you can get more of them on the board. As you can see, we're already up. We, we just we just bumped up six uh, troops. So we're up to nine to 15 now. We do have to be concerned with the uh, time clock. You can't run out of time. You only have eight rounds to be able to get to your 15. So we do have to work quick. We can't afford to lose troops and uh, we need to be um, uh, also taking land and expanding to get supply so that we can uh, let's uh, we'll, we'll do a good safe uh, consolidate there uh, the only risk is that uh, in the three towers beside us if he potentially raids we could be uh, in trouble with that one we'll see if we can sneak it by Okay, so let's see here for our last one in Blackwater. Um, oh, actually, no, we still have the Reach as well. So the Reach will we'll do a, a defensive, and we'll do another defensive in Blackwater. And in High Garden here, we will do a support. So we'll be able to support anyone trying to attack us. Okay, so good. Three Towers did not decide to raid us. He was just being defensive himself, so that's very good. Uh, that'll allow us the muster as long as we can maintain um, old old town down there. So uh, Martel's moving uh, into uh, the, bo the bone way there, taking on uh, Marathian. I don't mind ever watching those two. Oh, Patch Face is a really good card. Uh, you can really. Uh, Take out uh, your enemies, uh, some great cards from your enemy there. So, oh, Lannister is coming. It's a 5 on 2 attack. Um, I have my 4. I'm just taking a quick look. It's kind of cre it's, it's very important to be uh, looking at what your opponent has as well. So, it's a 6 6 tie. Uh, I do have the tiebreaker, so he's out of there. Um,. And I'm going to just go back and uh, support. Um, oh no, he's coming in to attack me. Sorry, Martel's trying to come in. I've got a three support from uh, High Garden, which is nice. I don't. I want to kind of save my mace if I can. I'm going to risk it here. Oh, and he played a zero two. Okay. 
So I did get hit, and uh, now I did have to go down to number six on the Raven track. Okay, well, if you're going to go down on one track, it would be the Raven I want to go down on. Now, those two fellas there that are uh, currently with the white flags up uh, from Martell, if they were to lose a second battle, they would actually die. It wouldn't, if they, no matter what uh, card was played against them, if they lost the battle, they would be dead. So I don't have anything to watch, unfortunately, into them. But if I did, I'd be gunning for them. Okay, so you know, Lannister and Greyjoy are going head-to-head -head here. Oh, Greyjoy pulls out the win, so Lannister is scampering. Okay, they, and there's, they have three there that are also... Uh, on the white flag, so that would be another uh, good spot to hit uh, Lannister with, if I had a march. Okay, so in the north there, there's some battles raging. Alright, so now I can use my crown and I can muster another troop, so that'll put us up to, uh, I'm going to bring the horseman in there, so we're at 10, we're, we're 5 away from victory, we're 2 rounds from the end, this is coming down to the, oh, and another mustering, oh, so good. Uh, this might, might be enough. No, no, not yet. We're going to have to just do some upgrades right now. We're going to need to, uh, so you can only have three troops, sometimes four, on uh, three or four as maximum, on, on, uh, depending on the space's um, supportive ability there. So we've got, uh, we've got now more ship support, which is not helpful. We're at 12 of 15, though. Okay, Wildling attack. So, let's see if we... Oh, and we destroyed them. The highest bidder, which was not me. But it's Martell got that bonus. So we do need to think about getting some of our troops out of uh, the towns. Uh, because we need to be able to hopefully gain another muster this coming round. And if we can survive with the troops we have, then uh, Tyrell could potentially pull out a win if we, we've got uh, four castles. Tyrell is four. Uh, with no losses, we could even afford to lose one troop. And uh, that would still allow us uh, with mustering, as long as we can take maybe another territory, it would be helpful here. Uh, the decisions in this game are just really, really sometimes challenging. You've got to really, you got to just sort of play it just right, that you're expanding out just enough. Uh, and uh, those musters are so critical in this particular challenge. So I've got a, I've got a, a raid here, and oh, I can steal that consolidate. Oh, that's real nice too. It was the this the bonus one. Love stealing those ones. So that uh, that hand boned him a little bit there. That's good. That was uh, Baratheon. Okay, so uh, some more raids happening. I think we just had the one raid. So oh, no, yeah, there's one raid. Okay, so we want to retake some of our uh, our land here. I'm going to move a couple of my, uh, my horsemen in there. I'm going to go take the arbor. It'll give us a little more uh, land uh, support there. We're definitely going to maintain Old Town. We have a four on three attack. Now, I've been saving Mace Tyrell for just such an occasion. Just in case uh, Martell got any ideas there. He did not. So, that was a clean victory, and he has to scamper back to uh, his uh, place there in the south. So Stark and Baratheon are going back back and forth there. Uh, so I've got Old Town ready to uh, muster if a muster hopefully comes up on the next flop. In the meantime, here is a big battle Lannister and I have been kind of gearing up for. So, 7 to 4. I have an 8 to 4 margin. I have a 4 uh, point advantage. I've got an extra 1 here. I have to play it. And he only had 1 Tyrone Tyrion Lannister. And now he's got out of there. Now, here's a perfect example. I could, on my march, move up there and I'll have my fresh deck of cards. I just played my last one. So, I will be able to go in there and uh, with as much strength as I can muster. <laughs> Unintended. I can potentially take another uh, land mass area. And we are getting very close to the end here. Seven of eight. Uh, and Lannister has a three, so my four will be able to beat him. 
As long as he has no support, and I don't see any. I do have a minus, I think that's a minus one qualifier there. That could be a problem, but I'm going to bring in, I'm going to send in the troops. Um, I'm going to go down to Old old Town just in case uh, and Three Towers gets any idea of trying to march in on me. So, so it's a 3 nothing advantage for me. I do have my mace, which would give us seven. I don't need to use that, though, but I can, with my three, use a second march ability. I've got a lot of troops there, so... Six to two, that's an easy thing to sweep. So they're all dead. Yep, they all go down in a blaze of glory. I have a second march now. And I can do a couple different things here. Uh, I could continue marching into Lannister lands there. I could try to go for the base. It looks like Greyjoy might control it. Greyjoy does control the base, so that's uh, a thought. But there's a bit of force there. Um, so... What to do, what to do, more decisions to make. So Stark is just choosing where to retreat up in the north there. And now for my second march. Um, so it's five, five defense. That's pretty strong. I'm going to go for where it's uh, only uh, a two defense. And see if I can't. I'm going to leave uh, one soldier back. So it's two on two against Lannister. I have that four as well. Still I can use mace. Oh, and he did use a, he used his uh, heavy D there, uh, but it was not enough, so they die. And Westeros phase. Well, we need a muster. Well, we need a muster here. Muster for, oh, and everybody musters. See, and that is where controlling the Iron Throne completely just won the game for me. So controlling the board on, on the, three, uh, the three levels, especially that Iron Throne. Uh, you want to have that. So I've hit my 15. Uh, that'll be now. I've actually gotten 16. So we're uh, we're actually one over the uh, the requirement on turn eight of eight. Talk about squeaking out the victory. Uh, this level was very difficult to figure out and to uh, actually beat. So this puzzle was a, probably the greatest challenge that I've uh, I've had I've gone through of all of them so far. Um, it was very tough. There were a few times I thought, is this even possible? And uh, you can now see that there is a, a path to victory. You, uh, you kind of want to expand uh, both north and south. Take those castles, take lands, and don't overstretch. We got pretty lucky early game uh, that we didn't lose a lot. Okay, so now I get to choose uh, being in control of the uh, the throne. Who takes the hits? So we will have to destroy two units, but I've already accomplished my goal. So losing two now is rather secondary to the matter. So, and I can even take, uh, I believe I can take my ships out here. At least maybe my, my port ship. So now I've got to destroy um, two units. I will get rid of uh, a ship. And I will get rid of the siege engine there. We don't need those two. So that will... Uh, I could have gotten rid of the, uh, the other boat in port, but that's okay. The rest of them are destroying their units. I've still hit my 15 of 15. So this was a very difficult and challenging uh, episode to play. Hope you were able to gain something from this victory and uh, uh, some insight into how you can actually beat uh, Growing Strong. The Queen of Thorns has uh, let us know that uh, our hope has been successful. Victory on Legendary Tactics.